We're going to discuss RFID readers and RFID tags as it relates to Standard Time. And you may already know, and you may have already seen the video on the Standard Time website that uh, shows how to configure Standard Time to start and stop a timer with an RFID reader and RFID tags. So if you haven't seen that, you probably should go out and look at it. This video is more intended to show some of the uh, RFID tags that you can use and uh, just to, to inspire you to give this a try and try different uh, form factors of RFID tags in manufacturing, uh, assembly line, employee, um, the time tracking, time in attendance, that sort of thing. So basically what we're talking about is uh, a reader like this, an RFID reader, and then an RFID tag. They can come in a lot of form factors as you saw here. This, in this case we've got an employee badge. Um, and you simply get close to that and that starts the timer, do it again, and it stops the timer. So standard time will collect time for all the employees, for products that you may have these um, uh, barcode or these RFID tags on. Uh, you can use things like key fobs, you know, you get that close to it and that starts the timer. Uh, there are a lot of other kinds of RFID tags that you can use. Here's one that is waterproof. You can put it around your wrist. Um, you've got adhesive labels here so you can see these are peel off and um, that right there is an RFID tag that you can stick onto a box or a product. When it goes down the line just beep, scan it on the uh, scanner. That'll start the timer scan again, stop the timer. So what you're seeing here mostly is the um, antenna. Uh, all of that silver part is the antenna. And then you've got the actual chip here. So these don't have batteries. Uh, they receive enough energy from the radio frequency um, power coming from the reader that they can excite the chip, start it up, and that will transmit its ID to the reader. And then standard time uses that to start the timer. Scan it again, stop the timer. So this is an example of a roll that you can get, a roll of a thousand of these things. Just stick them on every product, beep, 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 as they go down the line, and you can collect the information. This is adhesive. A lot of these other um, items are similar. In this case, we've got the RFID on one side, you got a barcode on the other side. So you could scan this if you wanted to, or uh, RFID it. Um, you've got the key fobs here. There's a lot of other little form factors, little tiny uh, devices here that are also uh, passive ID. Uh, these do not have batteries. Again, they receive their energy through the, um, the reader when it interrogates. This is the inside of one of those fobs. You can see it's just taken apart here as a coil of wire. And um, this one might, might be an example of an active RFID tag where it has a battery inside. So uh, whereas you saw before the distance on these is about let's say two to four inches before they begin working those active ones might be more like a foot to um, let's say 20 feet. So lots of different things you can go with here. We've got cars that you can buy by the hundred uh, they will have the IDs embedded right in them. Everyone has a unique ID. You can program those in standard time and then just start and stop a timer. So lots of different ways to go. So what I'm trying to do here is just inspire you to consider using a reader like this um, and standard time using any form factor, factor that works for you uh, in manufacturing, assembly, uh, employee, time and attendance, whatever works for you, just consider this as a possible way to uh, track time with RFID tags.